Welcome to the video. We're going to do a bit of bike shopping here. We've got a giant TCR. This is Australian dollars. We're going to go to Melbourne, Victoria. And I'm not sure why people live in Melbourne, Victoria. Um, a lot of great people over there, but man, what's going on with the, the restrictions and the expenses? Anyway, this is a fantastic bike. This is a giant TCR. Um, it's got those rims there. Nice tires in there. Beautiful bike. Very nice bike. Lightweight. It's got flat pedals in there. Ready to roll. Three three thousand one hundred. It's a very nice bike. It's got. It's, this is better than the twenty twenty one model, um, disc brake version. It says it love the bike, but not, not riding it because building manager doesn't allow bringing my bike into my apartment. Bro, get your TCR. Come on, move over to Adelaide. All right. That, that's that's the universe telling you, the lifestyle you're living ain't worth living. You know what I mean? Get out of Melbourne. Get out of heck out of Melbourne. Keep your TCR and uh, and get to Adelaide. That's just crazy, you know? What are people, why are people living in Melbourne? We've got a Focus Parlay, Parlane. We've got a giant TCR for grand. Um, let's scroll, what was, where are we here? We'll scroll, let's go, scroll to the top. And again, this is, I might offend some people in this video. I'm not, I'm not like targeting anyone specifically. This is just, I'm just clicking whatever's random showing up, right? So if I do, offend you or whatever i'm not trying to do that okay so this is, this is just random if i think your bike's worth a deal I'll, I'll give it a heads up if i think it's not then i'll i'll cut that as well just this is an interesting one a 12 demane just this is not a trek it's like a titanium bike let's, let's read it I'll hardly read it for okay here we go two frame sets up for grabs a trek demane koppenberg h1 1200 bucks and we've got a titanium um a titanium it's not a titanium replica it's a titanium bike with, okay with titanium bike with trek demano h1 geo okay we've got the bike geo here frame set comes with forks then bb in the case of the ti frame brakes as well okay so let's throw some brakes in 200 bucks fair price nice ti walty makes some good ti product we've got china cycling there uh, both frames in great condition reason for sale is now up to four bikes and i really need to free up this bike room for a nursery the kind of a scream of a, a, a vasectomy. I oh, saw nursery. Um, happy to listen to offers, but be reasonable. I'll just ignore you. Thanks. This guy's got to get a vasectomy. Four bikes. Four bikes is nothing. I've got four bikes in my bathroom. <laughs> Literally. Um, look at that much room this guy's got. If this was my house, there'd be cranks on the floor, wheels stacked up, all. You know what I mean? So it's, it's a fair deal. It's 1200 bucks. This, this is a very good condition. I mean, Melbourne people generally look after their bikes pretty well. I mean, it's two types of people in Melbourne. People who've got money and don't ride much, and people not much money and ride a lot and their bikes are thrashed. So this was the guy with a person with money. A slam, though. That's, that's going to be a bit difficult. It's a slam. So there's no fork spew of space there. So that, that, that's if you do slam your stem, I mean, that's your bike, but it can make a ring sound a little bit harder. But at 200 bucks, pretty fair price. This is not, That's a nice frame. That's, you know, this is before Trek destroyed the Demane by putting, you know, full suspension in it and disc brakes and adding all this weight. This is, you know, this is back when the Demanes were light and fast and nimble. Koppenberg. And uh, they did another one. What was it called? The Volkenberg? Kop no, it was the, um, I forget what it was called. Let me know down below what, how, how I'm just vaguing out on that one. The Vagan Vegan. That's different 1200 bucks. Fair price. You know, nice quality TI frame. I'd always want to drop the fork out just to check, just in case, you know. But otherwise, yeah, nice bike. Fair prices, fair deals. Again, you'd want to drop the fork out just to, just to be on the safe side. This is here with a specialized two thousand bucks zip wheels. Make sure you send those hubs back for the recall. It's a flat bar. Okay, so someone's grabbed a tarmac here, a tarmac SL three, and uh, turn it into a bit of a flat bar. For a bit of fun here. Up for negotiation. Two thousand bucks was two seven down. It was like a fifty eight model, fifty eight centimeter frame. Uh, again, you want to drop the fork out and spank for the ring of death on these ones. That front hub as well. If it's still a zip hub, you might want to send an email to Zip and ask him if it's part of the recall. Got some Durace 9000 cranks. Good crank set. Also, you want to check those for cracks because they are pretty prone to cracking. The Durace 11 speed, latest model, and this silver 9000 series prone to cracking and failing. So always make sure you check those. Um, otherwise, this would, be, this would be a fun bike to ride. Got some texture in there, two thousand bucks. There's no way he's gonna get two thousand bucks for this. There's no way. I mean, who's gonna spend two thousand dollars on a flat bar bike? I mean, you know, insurance replacement value on this bike is probably gonna be like you know six or seven grand. But really, secondhand market. If you if you get more than a grand for this, 
you're doing pretty good. You know, this is a bit of fun bike to ride, but it's flat bar, so you know you limit your options. And it looks it looks well used. You can see some buffing here and a bit of fading the paint. It, I'm gonna yeah. I mean zip wheels they look pretty well used ish. So DC says it looks like a Nova Tech hub in there. Maybe it's already been replaced. What's this cable doing in here? I'll be dropping this fork out to inspect. Um, Oh yeah, yeah, these are pretty well worn. So oh, there's some scratches. And this, oh, what's that crack? <laughs> I mean, what was that? That looks like what's going on here? Is that a bit of delamination? So the price is dropping a lot for me already. But at least they're being very transparent with the photos, right? So I might laugh and giggle and hiss, but this person's been transparent. This bike is well used. It's been well, lovely used. So yeah, two thousand bucks. No way. It's pretty cool. It's pretty thrashed. Which is fine. This, this bike would be fun to ride, and f fun things are typically thrashed. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're Sora, Sora, Tarmac, kind of old one. It's like an SL3, SL2 style, SL3. Um, you yeah, know, an old one. Yes, yeah, this dude's dream. 1100 bucks. Big seller. Red Royale bus, bus bum saddle. A la Grand, dreaming. 500 bucks if, you, if you're getting lucky there got some disc rotors 130 bucks for rotors brand new that's a fair price but yeah it's a bit of a joke how much rotors cost in it now you see what the bike industry is pushing road is pushing road let's type in some brand names here's a trek and monda one of my favorite bikes um Mondaba. can't even spell can't even spell man this is how this is this is what happens when you're a youtuber you know this money can't even spell properly uh, let's, let's find some deals here. Two eight dreaming, three nine dreaming. This one here, some of the new ones. Five four. It's got disc brakes dreaming. Two thousand bucks. It's getting more like it. Two three. It's still, it's still got stickers on there. Might be all right. Let's suss that in a second. Six hundred bucks. Let's click on that. Bike is like new. Reason for selling is I prefer mountain bike, and this bike does. Uh, it's got a bit of crank buff on there. That what's going on with that chain there? <laughs> let's go. Let me zoom in on that. We can zoom in on that. Look at this chain, man. It looks like me after a 400k ride, all bent and buckled and warped. So there's something wrong with that chain there. A bit of a stiff link in there. A bit of a morning stiffy and a bit of morning wood in the chain. Nice bike though. It does look in good condition. Uh, to be fair, it does have those little stem stickers on there. and So it hasn't been raced. It's got reflectors on there. It definitely hasn't been raced. So yeah, I'd, I would say it's a pretty fair price. You know. But because the photos look like there's a bit of grease thumbprint on the lens camera, people are going to stay away from it. But this would be a nice bike. And 600 bucks, pretty fair deal. I'd even try and knock them down, lowball them for 500 bucks. No, just kidding. Try and knock down a price, but if I had to pay 16, I'd pay 16. But these are a very nice bike. The Amanda SL with that 5800 group set rides real nice, but try and knock it down for grand form. This person here, an SL6 Amanda, so same frame. It's got old tag where he wants 3000 bucks. Can we get a castle? He's dreaming. Dreaming, mate. Look at that. And these Trek steers are well, very prone to cracking because the. Uh, the stock Bontraga Trek plug, very shallow. So I would say this fork most likely, you know, could very well be cracked because it's been torqued up overly and there's no deep enough plug. So I would drop that fork out beforehand and have a really good inspection because it, it, it could very well be cracked. Um, handlebars have been swapped for carbon isoflex. So you dream, and this is like almost retail price. I mean, it's in fair condition, the cranks are, but that fork... Has me a bit anxious. Yeah, it's, it's been dropped. So it's been dropped. It's got some. It's been crashed. Um, some marks on the seat post there. Grim's in good condition. Bond Tiger race wheel is pretty good. Right? So they've changed out the bars for some reason. That's a little bit of a, a red flag. Why would you change the bars on a bike like this? Did you crash them? Um, again, I'm just speculating. People, not not trashing anyone here. This one here, SLR10 H1. Is this one of the super light ones? Five four. This is like a Ninety ninety nine thousand on a bike back in the day. Um, so let's have a look at the condition of this. Now this is a super light bike. Yeah, it's one of those ones. Remember these? Was oh, it DR two? Sorry, I'm not. Six grand, dreaming though. Um, you know, this is a very nice bike, but unfortunately, if someone's going to spend six grand on a the bike, they're not going to buy a second hand on Facebook. Um, but even though it's a very nice bike, this is definitely better than the current model. I might just be the blue photo there. Six grand blue photo is unacceptable. Does look in fair condition. 6.3 kg without pedals. Oh, yeah. It's about, about the same weight as my Marita. 
Okay, interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, nice bike. The Duress group set, big fan of that. Yeah. Assuming there's no cracks in the on the crank. This is very good condition. So this bike has obviously been, it comes stock with a uh, SRAM red on it and it's been tweaked out, so it's been changed. So what's the history of this frame? Is it like a warranty frame? Is it, or well, it wouldn't be a warranty frame with this group set on there because this came out before that. So the 9000 series group set was a bit on error of this one but come out of a SRAM Red 22 and the Tune Skylines group yeah, group set looks in pretty good nick the frame though looks in fair again you can't tell too much from the facey photo very nice bike though starting to get a bit of wood down there and uh, yeah nice cassette looks clean maybe it's, a, maybe it's a chain waxer a lot of chain waxers in Melbourne not much clamping issues around the seat process a 58 bit of a tough sell bars look alright doesn't look like it's been done up too badly it's got the Bontrager Triple X Brazilian Wax stem on there. It's a pretty short stem, a little stumpy. Size can matter, depends on the girl. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's the deal. Nice bike, six grand. I don't think so, but, you know, I would pay six grand for it if that was the only, only option. But it's a very nice bike. Another one here, we've got a Scott Addicts. Uh, one of the Denk brand. Whoa, what's going on here? So space is the praying mantis egg sac. Two thousand ninety five about selling due to health reasons. That's unfortunate. Nice bike, two grand. It already dropped down from two seven two grand. So you know what's happening with the rim brakes right now? They're just getting dropped through the floor. This is a pretty fair price. This bike does look in very very good condition. You know, it does look in very very good condition. I still want to drop the fork out to inspect. It does look in very, very good condition, and they'll take a group set. You know, brand new. They're not cheap now. They're like fifteen hundred bucks or something crazy. So it's a fair price for this one, being a quite current model bike, in very, very fair condition. We've got another another SLR, another one over here. This is interesting. In near immaculate. Um, all right, so we've got it here, we've got the 9070s. Purchase frame is brand new. Okay, smarks. So it, it does, um, yeah, this is, this is a pretty fair deal. What's it down to now? Four and a half. You're probably budging down there. It's got those, what was they? Uh, down there, so it's got some some base model wheels. Um, it's a 58. It's not, well, that's, that's quite random. There's two of these exact same colorway tracks out there. They almost look the exact same, don't they? Very interesting. Four and a half. Those wheels are a bit of a letdown, but they're not too bad, those wheels, those dens actually. They're pretty smooth, pretty wide. Direct mount brakes. Yeah, this is a nice bike. Very interesting that there's two of these on there, isn't there? Um, yeah, it's very random. Very random. Nice bike, though. Got a soft spot for the old Trek monitors. Rim brake. Rim brake only. Trek to Madone for 1290. Dreaming. Three and a half. This one, is it DI2? Yeah, it looks like DI2. DI2. DI2, two sets of wheels and mechanical three and a half, dreaming, dreaming, nice bike there. Oh, but it's just, someone's thrown a Cervelo into the Monda mix. And this is like, well, this wasn't a cheap bike, cheap die, um, cheap bike back in the day. Two eight, good. they was always in good condition, aren't they? Triathletes don't ride much. Never would I want to, was like, try and ride this bike on a windy day. You won't be having much fun. You'll be cleaning your chamois afterwards, that's for sure. You'll be shooting yourself in the wind. This way, we've got a, oh, these are my dones, 1500 bucks, yeah. 1700, yeah. But we'll give them a grand each. There's two nice bikes. The old Willister Out Duez, that's a classic, it's a beast. Um, Venge 3 2, Dreaming. Specialized level is 4,100 for an alloy bike with Fulcrum Zero wheels for one. Shram Red Mechanical. Damn. Damn. People are a bit out of touch in the marketplace. That's got me worth max. If you get more than two grand for that, you'd be doing well. Again, I'm not here to trash anyone, just giving you market value. It might sound a little bit condescending, a bit trash talky, but i uh, just been real here. 1,000 bucks for giant TCR. Looks in good condition, almost scratches on the cranks. So stock heavy wheels on it though. That old classic blue, thousand bucks. 
Oof, what was that on the what was that on the down tube? It's a big chunky chip. Oof. What's that? It's like a it's a big chop chip out of that down tube there. That's that's a definitely a red flag. That's unfortunate. That's devalued a lot for me. I'll give it six hundred. Uh, what's we got down here? It's got mountain bike territory. We've got the Madone discs. You know, this, this is what Madones have become. These heavy, it's only ridden a thousand K. I opened a swap for a climbing bike. I don't blame this person. I don't blame this person. This bike is so heavy and sluggish. It's got a stages power meter on there. I don't blame this person. This this is not a Trek Madone. This is a, this is a Trek Anchor, you know. She's changed name to Anchor. That's all they are. So, um, you know, we've got a disc brake SL6. Six grand, dreaming. It's a heavy bikes. Let's find some bling on it. Here we go. I was about to say, let's find an SL6. And here we go. All right. So we've got the Dura Ace DI269 for the the S-Works SL6. Great bike. Open to offers. So can't even sell for 7K. Can't even sell for 7K. Still, still there. Really nice bike. Really nice bike. It's got the current model DI2 Dura Ace on there. It's got the S-Works BB30 OSBB. Super creaky cranks. Pretty light, nice bike to ride. But again, if you want to have a zero offset, you have to buy, you know, just give specialized half a kidney to get your seat post because it's proprietary. They're going to ream you with that one. Nice bike though. Uh, seven grand. I don't think it's going to get seven grand. Be curious to see what it goes for. Very nice bike up there with the Monda. But seven grand. I doubt it. Um, you know, what else we got down here? I just say it one more time. I'm not trying to trash anyone here. I'm just giving you market value. I always find it really curious. I find this actually genuinely interesting. What things actually go for? Because you got the, you know, what happens is people go, oh, I want my SL6 is S works. Yes, yeah, seven grand, well, not eight and a half. And it's like that's what you want for it. But what's it going to actually sell for? And then people put their price up, and then someone comes along and puts it down for three grand. And it sells that day because that's what it's really worth. You know, this looks like a warranty frame over here, giant TCR. Almost brand new 2020. This definitely warranty frame. Yeah, it went to that colorway out there. That's a pretty classic. Got this old Cerium 2002. So the wheels are as almost as old as Natasha is, my girlfriend. Their 2002 model. Good vintage. So that's like 19 years old wheels. Yeah, warranty claim. Here we go. Warranty claim for Giant South Yarra. Um, seat height. Seven. That's a problem with the ISP. Is the, your seat height's pretty, pretty cut. 7.28 kilos shown in this. That's pretty decently light. Lighter than my TCI TCI disc, I we don't disagree with that one. Um, I'll, I'll be keeping this. I'll be selling the disc brake bike and keeping this. What you want to do, gang, is clean up those Dura Ace chain rings. Just you know, spend five minutes, give me a bit of a polish up, a bit of spit and polish. Just give that chain a bit of a clean, and it'll make it a big time, big difference. That's a nice blue. That's interesting. It's interesting how the warranty frames always have different colours. I don't understand that, but uh, nice bike. We go good. Measured it up, 76. I could tr chunk out two centimeters and fit that. It's got any spaces in it. Those the Serum SLs in pretty good condition, aren't they? I'd pair those back in uh, 2002. I was racing in Belgium in 03. And uh, yeah, doesn't look like it's got any spaces in there. So room for improvements in terms of seat height. And there we go. That's the deal. Um, Marin, Marin Kentfield. Let's see. That's just the... This is, I'll type in, this is, let's just quickly type in, uh, while well, we're feeling frisky, specialized tarmac. Another one of my ever sort of bikes. Before they put disc brakes on there and ruined them forever. Tarmac RIP 2021. Right, we've got, you got any dreamers in here? We've got a disc brake. This is a dreamer here. SL6. Is this, what is this thing? This is, this is a Roubaix. What's that? 10 grand. So this wouldn't have been a cheap bike a year ago, but man, it would be heavy. It's a pretty bike, but why has it got disc brakes? Oh, it just ruins it, doesn't it? That's just like, that just ruins it. It just ruins it. Here we go. We've got this bike. I think we featured this in a recent video. It was 7.7. Seven. It's mechanical. This guy's dreaming. You could get my bro, my boy, this fork here. This, I remember this bike. That fork's probably going to be cracked. It does have a power meter. Does it work? You know, but it's, look at the wheels. It's got El Cheapo alloys on there. 6.8. And for 6.8, you can go down to Old Mate at Torquay and be getting DI2 Durace, current model with some CLX40 Rapids, which are a great wheel. You know, and the fork hasn't been slammed uncut with a 
uncircumcised thing in it, you know, far out. Get circumcised your steerers, gang, if you're going to run slammed, or put a deep plug in there if you're going to run uncircumcised. Five grand for a specialist. <laughs> Absolute black training is good, though, but again, again, not trying to trash this person trying to sell a, a SL6 frame set for three grand, a 49 centimeter. Dreaming on that one. Damn, coming out straight out of Shenzhen, China. No problem with that, but that's what they made. China. Three grand. SL4, five and a half. Dreaming. Nice colorway, though, isn't it? Um, this is it. 6.9. Look at that. You know? Still can't even sell it. 6.9, better wheels, DI2. And you got old mate. Where is he? 6.8. You know what I mean? You spend an extra 100 bucks. You get DI2 carbon wheels and a properly properly installed fork. I'm going with that. Um, this is an old Rubay S-Works frame set. It's an S-Works frame set for 500 bucks. I would I would buy this if it was in good condition. Wow, that's looking good condition. This is a very nice bike. Inch and eight steerer. I'm not sure what why there's so much distant issues here. Is there something with the dropouts? Look at that, that wheel's over. It was just not done up properly. Nice bike. Hampton Cycles. So it's one of those ones. Yeah. It's got, I don't think it's, I think it's got BSA, bottom bracket. This is a nice bike. A little quick step sort of style. Nice BB30 looks like maybe. Nice, nice frame. Good condition. Good condition. Does it come with wheels or not? Pretty good deal. 500 bucks. Pretty fair price. Inspect that fork there. Um, here we go. SL1. Nice bike. Shram Red. Very light. 1500. Little pocket rocket will blow your socks off. It's not the original S-Works Tarmac. Um, that came out in 2004. This is 2006, 2007. But yeah, it's um, no, this is a nice little bike for a short rider. Very nice bike. Again, drop out the fork, inspect for ring of death, and uh, go from there. So seven grand will get you a really you know nice bike. So we've got another one here, have we? We've got another one. Damn, it's all popping up everywhere, aren't they? Rim brake DI2. It's so Otago rear derailleur. Maybe he's, they've blown the rear derailleur out. 58. So what's that? How much is that? 6.9. So that's the price. You know, 7 grand. That's what they're not selling for. You know, they're getting posted for that. So I would say this bike's probably more about... I would buy one for, you know, 3.5 grand. This is super lightweight, secondhand carbon. You don't really know the history of it. You know I mean? People will tell you one thing and truth could be another you know you, you don't know how do we know this frame is safe there's no warranty you're a second owner the bottom brackets do have issues seat posts can slip blah 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 if so for me three three and a half di2 you know but again that heavy cork crank set no thanks those wheels are nice though but again check for cracks take the wheels off take the tires out take off the rim strips check for any eyelet cracks etc nice bite though classic looking s for its product but yeah, for seven grand, it's what they're going for. Selling, uh, not selling for, it's what they're marked as what they sell for. More like three and a half, four grand. Anyway, that's the video. Some beautiful bikes out there. Facebook Marketplace makes it easy to sell and uh, makes it easy for, for flogs like me to critique them and uh, have some dreams and dreaming. There you go, gang. See you on the road.